What's the cruelest prank you've ever seen? Friend of mine had a crush on his coworker, it was sort of an open secret. His manager tried to help him, offered advice, some things to say, small gifts she might be into, etc. What no one knew at the time was that said manager and said coworker had recently started dating and hadn't told anyone yet. So he meant it as a prank on his new girlfriend to be put into these awkward situations, but my friend's feelings were really hurt when it all came out. Wow, that is some class of assholery right there. A group of girls at my high school told a girl that they were hanging out at one of their houses at 9 near a train station, but they really just made up a time and place that would make her stranded at the last train stop with no more trains home. In the spirit of cruel revenge she should have gotten her mom to call each of those girls and say name didn't come home today, she said she was meeting with you, do you know anything? To be really cruel get mom to say you were the last person to see her and the police want to talk to you. Ong they would shot their effing pants. In middle school a girl came up to us on the playground and told this dude to go see the principal, he's looking for you, he got a call that your mom died. Then as soon as the dude ran away she told us all she just made it up. It was ducking horrible. I feel like the girl wouldn't have a lot of friends after this. Yeah, she went from one of a clique of popular girls to pretty much an outcast. It was like weeks days before graduation anyhow. So I didn't really see a big fallout from it, but the guy was pretty messed up as a result at least for that last bit I knew him. Saw a guy tip over the porta potty with someone in it. That memory is clear. I think it was his GF. Probably wasn't after that. Lol. I would have dumped him faster than he dumped all those dumps on me. A friend of a friend in high school had her boyfriend pretend that he died. He had one of his friends call her saying he had died in a car accident and had someone else calling up pretending to be a doctor from the hospital. She was hysterical. Later that day, after she kept asking the fake doctor which hospital it was so she could be there, she found out it was all pranked to see if she cared. Horrible. Anyway, they broke up. To this day it's the nastiest prank I've seen in person. Had a friend do that too. To this day, I don't trust him when he says he had health issues, because he had us all worried sick for weeks, saying he was having heart surgery on X day. The day of, I woke up to find a post on his socials from his dad saying that he died, that he was so scared before going under and now he wanted one last message. April Fools. I was so angry. Actually, no one was laughing cause this was not a short message it was 5 paragraphs long and I was crying when I got to the message. I still don't fully trust him and honestly remembering it makes me even angrier. Someone asked a guy to be her boyfriend, he said yes and the next day she invited all her friends to tell him that she did it as a joke. When I was 16, I had a crush on a boy a couple years older. I got a call on my birthday and he asked me on a date. I was so excited and said yes. Only to hear laughter. It was the father of one of my classmates, who also knew my family and parents. Who the eft is that? I have kids of my own now, and the immaturity of it still astounds me. In college, at the end of the year a club I was in had a roast of the outgoing seniors. My friend running the roast couldn't come up with anything for one of the guys, let's call him Ben. To drum up ideas, he called a bunch of Ben's close friends, also in the club, and asked them for things to make fun of Ben about. Thinking this was a confidential conversation, they proceed to absolutely lay into Ben, the guy is seriously lame honestly, when I'm talking to a girl and he is there, it is supremely awkward my friend simply recorded that whole conversation and played it outright for Ben's section of the roast, mortifying Ben and all his friends simultaneously. Sounds like this dude shouldn't have been writing the roast, how hard is it to just say that the dude is so boring that you can't think of anything to say about him? Prank war going on in between two houses that were next to each other in San Diego, CA circa 2014. My cousin lived in one of the houses and this happened when I went to visit him a few years back. House number one pulled a prank that led to a member in house number two being late for his first day of work. It was collateral damage but the guy ended up getting fired for it, guy who lost his job came home furious. He then took a 15 pound medicine ball and painted it to look just like a soccer ball. He tossed the medicine ball into the front yard of house number one and waited. When he saw the guy come out of the house he yells, hey Josh can you kick that ball back over here? Dude proceeds to take a running start and square up and kick the soccer ball with every ounce of strength he had. Poor bastard went down almost immediately in tears and screaming. Ended up breaking three bones in his right foot. Just brutal. And this is when the pranks ended and became attacks, I'm just guessing. 
My, ex, friend thought it was a funny prank to kill my brother's hamster and tie it up and dress it in ridiculous ways. I remember reading somewhere, probably on Reddit, that someone as a kid had a friend over who was a compulsive liar and was trying to convince him he had super speed. To prove it he said he was going to throw Op's hamster as hard as he could and then go catch it before it hit the wall. Needless to say a few, seconds later Op is standing there shocked as his hamster was flattened against the wall and immediately died. The kid had apparently tried to play it off but when the mother came up and saw what happened she told him to leave and that he wasn't allowed to come back. I genuinely think we really need to watch out for kids like this. Kids that care more about being funny and impressing other kids than about the life of an innocent creature. Either they genuinely don't know that it's wrong to kill things which is horrifying or they do know but care more about themselves which is also horrifying. Like Mike Tyson's new documentary when the bully killed his pigeon and he beat his ass something serious. That was his first fight, what got him into boxing in the first place from what I remember about him. When I was a kid, somehow my classmates found it funny to piss in other people's cans of soda. I did not have a good childhood. I was once prank called by someone, a classmate presumably, and they told me they were going to kill my best friend who was in the same class as me. It was really ducking weird, the school never figured out who it was, they just asked if my friend had any enemies. Bro, we are 11. TBH I had far more enemies at 11 than I do as an adult. Kids are assholes sometimes. I have zero enemies at 27 and had at least 4 or 5 at age 11 to 18. Kids are definitely assholes. In 6th grade I opened my locker and a note from the boy I had a crush on fell out saying he liked me too. A bunch of girls in my grade were there when I found it and were super happy for me, or I thought they were. When I went to the boy to ask him about it he said he didn't write it and the group of girls who were there when I found the note had written it. I turned around and sure enough they're laughing. But it crushed me, not that the boy didn't like me back but because I didn't think these girls had gone to school with since first grade were that mean. A couple weeks later the group played a similar joke on one of the girls who was actually in on the prank against me, and I got a genuine apology from her after she realized how bad I must have felt. None of the other girls ever apologized. Edit, this comment blew up more than I thought it would haha. Thank you for the awards, much appreciated. Duck them bitches. Happened to me. Was at my first school dance in middle school. Was always the shy kid, so I was surprised when one of the popular chicks came to ask me to dance. I said no because I was shy, but I was elated that I got asked. A few minutes later I'm in the bathroom stall and a few kids come in and start talking about how they paid her 10 bucks to ask me, and if I said yes she would have just tripped me and made me look dumb. I never went to another dance all throughout middle and high school. Even prom. On the bright side you said no which kind of made her look dumb lol. In high school, someone made a pipe bomb and sneakily threw it into a metal trash can. One of my friends unknowingly walked by when it exploded and blew out his eardrum. The trash can looked like a peeled banana afterward. That person was ratted out and expelled. Edit, kid was arrested afterwards. Saw him 10 years later working at a car wash. All of this happened in 1997. My mom was a teacher and sitting in her room she heard a loud thump and felt a shake. She went running to see what it was and found out a bomb had gone off in the room nearby, and a student had been caught in the blast. She comforted the student who said I just picked it up and it exploded. School was closed, obviously, big investigation. My mom was first on scene and she was questioned about the student. Turns out the student my mom comforted was the one who set the bomb. Because he hadn't gotten a major project done, somehow he convinced himself the best way to get out of it was. To blow up all the other projects. Teacher, I know I turned it in, but it was blown up by a bomb. I don't know if the student was seriously hurt. Definitely expelled. E, quiz my mom for more details on it. This was in the late 80s, so bombs were either very uncommon or believed uncommon. There had been a bomb threat earlier in the day, so when my mom heard the boom, she thought oh god the bomb went off, the bomber was literally the only injury, and that's why the detective, who was my dad's sister's husband uncle on my dad's side, knew that he was the perp, because it was a very amateur bomb. 